Hi, I'm, I'm Sean Van Hales. I'm the director of photography on Hotel Babylon 3. I've done the two previous series and I've been working on HD cam since Rockface for the BBC, which was the first HD cam drama on British television. On Hotel Babylon, we, we used, we, we're using two 790s, um, shooting independently, using them as camcorders, treating them as film cameras, really. Um, it, just keep trying to keep things as simple as possible. We move the camera all the time on Hotel Babylon. Uh, we've, we've got a steady cam operator with us all the way through. Um, and we like to throw the cameras around a bit. Um, the 790, like the 900R and the 750, are very easy to work with. Most of the, the, the camera rental houses are geared up for working with them. Um, so there's, there's no problem at all. They're not as small as uh, film cameras, but um, you know, as a good workhorse for TV drama, they're excellent. An electronic camera straight out of the box, even a top-end broadcast camera will only do seven stops. That's all you can get out of it, or rather all you can get into it. If you let me loose on the controls on the top-end cameras, I can stretch that to 12 stops because the cameras don't clip at peak white. There is more exposure available. They don't use the whole sensitivity range of the sensor. And if you do things to the, the transfer curves, you can actually claim all that back. And if the noise level is good enough, you can do things at the bottom end as well to drag stuff out of the dark, dark and the murk. You can raise it to 12 stops, which is as good as a middling film. For shooting HD for the BBC, I always insist on uh, getting BBC film settings dialed into the cameras. Um, on, on series one of Hotel Babylon, I got Alan Roberts to come down and put his special settings in, and, um, and I've sort of cloned the settings ever since. We have a, a memory stick, and we, we have our settings on it, and we bung it into the camera every day and then bung it into the B camera so I, I know that both my cameras balance up and I'm delivering something that the BBC are happy with. The latitude on the new 790 is fantastic. Um, I've worked with the 900R as well and I've pushed it to the limit of, at both ends and, um, and I think I get about 13-14 stops latitude on it. But the 750 was faster but uh, it didn't have so much headroom and you couldn't wrench so much out of the bottom end whereas with the 790 I can underexpose a stop or so and still pull it back and, ha and still have details in the, hi in the highlights. It was just a budgetary decision to go with the 790 because we didn't need various frame rates, um, so it was cheaper to go with the 790. But in a feature film application, I'd use the 900R. The, the main difference between shooting on film and shooting on HD cam is um, foreign sales. You know, everybody wants HD delivery now, so if you're not having to go through a a digital interface route, if, if what you're shooting on the day goes straight into the, the cutting room and then straight onto the online, then uh, you're sort of cutting out a lot of environmentally un unfriendly processing. Uh, it's all been positive. I mean, I, I find HD cam as easy to work with as film. Um, I find it as versatile. Um, I think it saves production a lot of money and um, I'm getting better results than I would be on Super 16. Right, don't quiet, please.